Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Zero Plays Flood of Light. Today we're going to be trying to complete level 6, or the 6th level, because it's going backwards. And we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping that the audio in the hall has improved. I've played around with it and whatnot. So this is the 6th floor, Starlight Dome Hotel. Again, super nice visuals. Really good music. Robot. Let's talk. Almighty God, if you think you're short of light, I know a small trick. You can absorb lights that are necessary from lamps and take them to somewhere else. But if you ever get stuck, maybe you can go back for more light. So, do you see that lit lamp behind me? You can take the light from that lamp and bring it to the hotel. Okay, so let's do this. I really hope that's meant to happen. Or else I'm gonna have to click that restart button real quick. <laughs> I'm guessing it is, but okay, let's just keep going. So now I've got three lights. Nice save point. I'm gonna just do some of the basic like simpler puzzles myself because there's no point talking through them. All my thought process. That's so satisfying, the waterline dropping. I mean, I don't know if you guys think this, but I think that this little girl in the clip, like here, the one's one walking, she looks kind of creepy. If that's just me, well, that's probably really me because I wanted to say, like, that's so evil, you shouldn't be saying that. Oh, yeah, but. She does look quite a bit scary. That's the first week of this level, I believe. Move this downwards. I think she looks scary just because she's like black and white and like she's got no facial features or anything. Okay, progress to the next area. Let's see where this goes. Okay, so there's a mailbox here. Robot on that side. And some light stuff going and happening. Let's read the mail first. Um, 15th of April 2016, Drizzle. In the past week, Obsidian Factory has produced hundreds of sunlight monoliths in an unbelievable speed. They're being delivered to every corner of the city right now. Once sufficient sunlight monoliths are activated, it can stop the continuous rainfall. This is an official statement from the City Control Committee for all citizens. To tell the truth, sunlight monolith is just a dewatering device. It will not diminish the rain, but it can indeed earn us some time to develop a device that can actually reduce the rain. Dr. S. I realised I did not do this on like another um, message, email thing, but you can see the picture, so maybe we'll have to go check that out later on. So this looks like kind of like a chamber thing, but okay. These are like cells. Oh, I guess it's a hotel room. Not, yeah, the hotel room, not cells. Chef number TH0085 at your service. That thing in front of you is an elevator. It's a transport device created by humans. Us robots were created by the humans too. So, are we in the elevators, siblings? Be careful. There's a huge difference between us. They won't wait for you. You must stand on the elevator before lighting the switch. If you miss it, you'll have to choose the restart option in the pause menu. Oh, and are you looking for the pedestal in this area? The lake pedestal is at the floor bottom of this hotel. One eternity later. Oh 
maybe not. Um, let's restart this part of the level. This kind of game definitely makes you realise that every move that you make does matter. Even though you may not think it does, but I don't know. It makes me feel like I should be a bit more careful with how I play. Do I want to take all of them? Do I just want to take the three? Let's take the three and then we'll move those down this way. Grab this. <coughs> just gotta make sure I don't forget that. And then I guess we'll do something like this. I can grab the three. What else we're gonna have issues? Um, and this goes there. Mm -hmm. I grab this. Okay, this is not too bad. Got through this, I think. Doesn't look too shabby. Mm -hmm. Then I'll grab the light from here and then go back down. Or not. I need the light to open that, so maybe I need to just, excuse me, no, come on bro, are you serious, are you freaking serious, I'm gonna have to redo this bit. there, why can't I do it properly the first time, god, <laughs> Okay, so now I'm here again, mm -hmm. then I grab all three, then I give the three to this one, give two across, mm -hmm. grab the one, move it up. Okay, then I don't touch that one, I'm literally just going to give it back. Okay. 
just this level. I guess I can do this first. Okay, now it's gonna be mix. Too bad at this game. <laughs> I mean, debatable, but. The operation of these devices consume a lot of power, and the long run is not the way. How to do all the resources of the Institute? The design of the sun momentum of the drawings almost took five years. Nowadays we have to build and start the blue light centre within a month. The words are desperate, but it's necessary to know that we have the data of the source, borrowed from the mainland scientist when designing the sun momentum. Today, however, we have a real source. Is a failure, is a success or a failure? Not yet known. Dr. S. I wonder who Dr. S is though. Was he good? I'm guessing he's good. But was he like a nice person? He was the mainland scientist. Was he a good guy? Are we not on the mainland? Like, there's a lot of questions. Um, I'm just gonna do a quick check. Oh, we're missing one. Or oh, is this the lost one? This is the lake pedestal. Oh, we missed one out. Okay. I guess we'll chuck that in with the one I missed out in the first episode. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was level 6 of Flood of Light. Um, again, I don't really know what to expect or where to go from here. Or whether we're going to learn more as we go. But I hope you guys enjoyed it and you guys have a great day and make sure you like and comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the videos and I'll see you guys in the next.